What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the internet. I'm here to take Consecrated Sphinx, and I uh, got Rafelos over here, so... Not even considering the Rafelos? I considered it. Uh, considered it a joke. Because there's a Consecrated Sphinx. It is Consecrated Sphinx, right? Like, it's not... It's not really close, I'd be right? tempted to take a Rafeli boy here. Have you ever drawn two cards with this? Yeah, it's pretty good. What, you know what happens when you draw two cards of this? You draw two cards. You win the game. Boop! Didn't, don't, long hair, don't care. Long mosquito arm, don't care. That's what I always say. He always says that. He's 100% a mosquito. Your dad's a mosquito. Have you ever managed to build a good storm deck? Yeah, we've had plenty of good storm decks. <laughs> in cube. In real life, you in modern? Yeah, I've always had one in modern. Look, just call it. Oh, the color changes, boy. Uh, what do we got here? Remember that time I got that second pick and <laughs> ten barbobbly bits. That's beautiful. Look how pretty you are. I oh, know. Okay, just making sure you know. What are we picking here, man? Flood strand? That's what I was thinking. It seems like the safest pick. I like a batter skull, especially if we get a stone forge, but I think flooded strand just uh it does so many things. It fetches, it gets a land, it fetches a land, it helps you draw with consecrated sphinx. It doesn't do that last one, I was just trying to see if you guys are still awake. You awake? Never. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the Rakdos Return Storm was great. We were like, how do we win with this Storm deck? Oh, we have Rakdos Return. We'll just make a million mana and kill you. It does buff our Death Shadow. That's a good call, Spence. That is a good call, buddy. Oh, what's the pick here? Got Infinite Gyre. That's the Bad Olamog. The Bad Amog, if you will. He's still pretty good. I like Steam Vents and Ponder and Aleshnorn. I think I like Ponder here. Over Steam Vents? Yeah, we're not red yet. Yeah, but you could be. It lets you play a lot of red cards, because now we have Flooded Strand Steam Vents. That's true. I don't think you know how splashes work. We have nothing to splash for yet, though. It's pick two. I'd rather have the cards that let me splash, and then allow me to take red cards down the road, than take red cards, and then find a way to splash them. Get wrecked. Keep I'd rather just ponder. I'd rather just cryptic command. Look, now we can take this. I'm totally open for that Splinter Twin. You're never taking that. You don't think I'm taking Pestamite? Right? No. Because of cryptic command? Mm hmm. Yeah, he's right. Oh, brain freeze. Just kidding. That's not a win condition. Well, what if Foothills does get a steam bench? It's true. That's true. Basalt model seems pretty good though, right? Turn four Consecrated Sphinx? Yeah. Basalt model is like, all right, you could put three, you could you could put three mana down, and next turn you'll have three mana to use. That seems good. I'm taking that. Oh, big moles. A lot of storm cards going around. We got an empty Warrens. We just passed the brain freeze. Blue Delta is also pretty good. No, I'd rather take a mold drifty. Yeah. Now we got the good. Now this is the good three, four, five, and six drops. Oh, what are you doing? Wow, and time spiral. They are just giving us the the storm deck. You don't really have to force storm, and they're literally just handing it to you. Good lord. I think it's a bit too late now. What if that brain freeze comes back? I mean, we still made a lot of really bad picks for the storm deck. Did we? Mm -hmm. We could have only made. Oh, it actually is pick six. It's pick seven. I thought it was actually pick. Uh, I thought it was pick five because we only saw these. What are we taking here? Gotta be quick, boy. Quick, 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 quick. Overflowing challenge. That seems terrible. This is the good Chandra. 
give us double red. Ooh, this is a this is a beautiful boy. This is a beautiful snake, man. It is double red, but we got a steam vent, so what problem is? You think the snake is double red? No, this one is. No. Wait, what? Why are you the way you are? It's gotta be snake. You're talking about Mystic Snake, and then you said double red, so. You're talking about this is the same double red and some blazing 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 some text in here? It looks like it's a line of text, doesn't it? It looks like it's characters. Like wingdings? Wingdings. That is exactly how he sounded. You're not wrong. You're not mistaken, Spence. I mean, it's hard, because, like, you know, you kind of don't want him to sound like that, because it's weird, but then, like, you know, wow. Wow. <coughs> this deck probably wants a wrath. I was thinking that too. Repeal seems good, but I think this is I think we get wrath. Let's just we can just be blue white control. Gee, what gave it away? The floated strand. My dad. That is a late Rafellos. Ninth pick to be exact. Not one person at the table wanted that Rafellos. Oh, Banishing Light seems good. Also, a Glorbringer. You wanted Benelish Marshall? <laughs> I'm going to assume you're joking. No, man. You it have to good. be joking. Yeah, Rafellos' ninth pick is definitely Michael Scott cringe fate. Oh, can we just mana tie them? We can. Oh, we're going to got them. This is our moment to shine. Oh, it's too late, maybe now it's too late. Margo. I don't hate Angel. Send me an angel. Oh. What do you think? You gotta think fast, man. I like Parallax. Alright. We can actually blink our Mole Drifter and our Cryptic on our Concerted Sphinx, and then we can Wrath of God. Mm -hmm. Oh, selfless spirits also good with wrath of God. Last pick harmonize is also pretty ridiculous. Huh. Fascinating. You look even at tendrils. We would have the perfect storm deck. Yeah, actually would have had Brain Freeze, Empty the Warrens, Time Spiral, and Tendrils. It's pretty good. So, uh... Supreme Verdict, Frost, Titan, Charter Course. It's not Charter Course. It's not Charter Cars. Misty Rainforest is an option. Kind of like Misty. But like Misty... You like it over Spring Bird? We already have Wrath. You like a Frosty? You don't like Frosty Tea? Not when you're casting him on turn six. We got a Basalt Monolith. Oh, maybe I do like him. Yeah, I think that's better. Eugene! Big Uggs. I like a Eugene. And if, if Baneslayer or One Power Stone or Manly comes back, I'll be like... Man, mind slaver. I don't think we're a mind slaver deck, but I guess all decks are mind slaver decks if you're if you just believe. It's got to be Eugene, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we got a basalt monolith, so that's a turn five Eugene if we hit. Turn four Eugene if we hit any sort of moxes or, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. Something wrong with your lip? Uh, that would be my mouth, not my lip, but. Your lips part of your mouth. Yeah. Didn't think about that one, did you, sucker? I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't think about that one. Hmm. I guess you got me. How's that feel? Got him. 
Wow, that's a late ancient tomb. <clears throat> it's pretty good. I think it's actually on the third pick, which isn't terribly late, but it still goes in any deck. Turn two monolith turn. This is a turn two monolith turn three Ugin, right? One, two, three, four, six. No, it's not. Seven. One, two, three, four. No, that's turn four. Still for turn four Ugin. It's still got to be Ancient Tomb, right? Yeah. Like, there's nothing else in this pack remotely close. Brown is open. Good call. Good call. I really want a Tundra and a Celestial Colonnade. Can we get those? Can we make those happen? Lips have the same type of skin as the inside of your mouth. Really? That is a fun fact. I had a good time with that fact. It's gotta be swords, right? What about Maze of Ith? It's like the ultimate sword. It's like the ultimate sword, wow. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to miss a land drop to play it. I'd rather just have a sword. Spencer, I put all the lands on the sideboard so they don't take up deck space so that I, I still know that I have 14, 14 cards, non-lands. How many times can we got him with this mana tithe? At least once. Maybe twice? Maybe. Maybe three times, lady. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, four spike. Hmm. Do we just do it? I think we can got so many people with mana tie than four spike. Jeez. We're doing it. Cause once they once they, once you get mana tithe, you never think you're gonna get four spike too. I didn't. I think it's happened to me twice. I think I've had like at least two cube matches where someone both four spiked me and mana tithed me. And I was just like, Are you kidding me? Cruise it up, boy. Is it cruise here? It's not ley line. Yeah, I think it's probably better than unexpectedly absent. We do have Sphinx's Revelation though, and Consecrated Sphinx. Whatever, mm -hmm. I'll take I'll take the... Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Geist of Saint Draft? Could be good. That's just a good dude. That's just a good beady. Beady, 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 beady. Whatever. It's not gonna be... I don't like Fiend Hunter effects in this cube. Maybe I do. I don't know. I don't feel like I do, though. <sighs> Hmm. Nothing great here. Another good storm card, though. Brims, that's I guess. Yeah, it's got to be big brims. Wow, that was quick. Wow, this tendrils came back? Literal no one in storm. Tell Rain good for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think it's terrible, but it's probably better than, like, Spectral, right? Yeah. Uh, Consecrated Sphinx was pack one, pick one. Whatever. Oh, that's what I was hoping. That's pretty sweet. I don't hate Wall of Omens here. No, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, all right. Whatever, I'll take this just in case. Sideboard card against the red deck. Oh, the Unexpectedly Absent came back. I guess we didn't have to choose after all. Put the Delver away. All right, well, no power. Sun Titan, I don't care about. It's either Metamorph or Confluence, right? 
I like Confluence. Yeah, me too. We have Cryptic Command, Force Spike, Manatide, and Confluence. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. Not 100% on you. I like having both of these. They're friends. That's a pretty good one. Yep. Oh, we also got Snappy Boy. Dang. Snappy Boy's great with four spike mana tithe swords, cryptic, and mystic confluence. It's true. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Snappy Boy here. That's what does win games pretty fast though. Yeah, but we have we have other we have tons of win conditions, I think. Snappy Boy's super versatile. This is a great deck for Snapcaster. Oh, here we go. This guy wins games. Oh, this wins games. Mm-hmm. Mm. Much as I want to take Dragon Lord Ojitai, I'm pretty sure Treachery just trumps it. Also... Oof. <coughs> oh, man. That was like a double whammy. Well, this pack is great. Elspeth, Lyra. Lyra seems pretty good. We have Baneslayer and Angel of Invention here. Also, it makes our Geist Angels better. True. Yeah, Treachery actually is a Storm card. Uh, we could just take Scalding Charm. We don't have any, we don't have a black, uh, blue, 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 white, blah, 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 a blue, white fetch land yet. Did you just say we don't have a blue, white fetch land yet? Or a blue, white land to fetch rather. What's the pick here, man? You got a way in. Kind of like this member, actually. Really? For some more removal. Maybe don't play me in deck wrath. I can see that. I don't think it's relic. We're just two colors. You know, like, yeah. All right, this member's fine. I was gonna say knight, El Elspeth knight errant, but probably not playing parallax. Oh, that was that's actually a great pickup. Celestial colonnade is exactly what we want. We could days them. We could take days and have the triple, but I, I want this. I want at least one dual land in our colors. I also see not playing unexpectedly absent. I just want one Tundra. I'll even take a Hollowed Fountain. I'll take a Poor Man's Tundra. How does a Phyrexian Mana work with Flashback? Uh, same way it works with without Flashback. Okay. You can still pay four if you want to flash it back. If you want to snap it back. Snap it back! Took my bee away. They took him away. This deck looks pretty good. I like that we have a lot of answers. Counterspells answer everything. Oh, I like a Demir Signet, actually. There's also a high tide. We this actually would have been the perfect uh Storm deck. Storm deck. Yeah. Like, unbelievably so. Is it Remand or Demir Signet? Kind of like Remand. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I do too, actually. Oh, I like a Faith's Fetters. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, that's just a versatile removal spell. God, Armageddon, and we passed the Ravages of War. I'm just thinking the Sister of Benalia. Lingering Souls? We got a Shambling Vent we can splash it off of. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't seem great, though. I'll still take it just in case, but... Yeah, it was probably show until. Sorry, I'm late. We're having a bunch of family over, and I promised they'd help cook a few things, so I was stuck helping my mom in the kitchen with onions. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. So proud. So proud of you. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is the deck now. 
Gideon. That's a really late cradle. I know, man. What's going on? This is a weird draft. I guess it's Elspeth here. Yeah. And then we just play it. Jesus. Well, we need two cuts now. Is Gideon just better than Brimaz? I feel like he might be. I'm not sure. Do you care about Wall of Omens? Not really. Wow. I want to take the Soulfire because it's actually great with things like swords. Wow, even that's good. This is amazing. I think I like Soulfire better than Selfless Spirit. Sure. And I don't care about Flicker Wisp in our deck. Look at all these white cards. Like, we could actually probably be mono white here. Yeah, I cut Ugin. Seems good. Seems legit. What are we cutting here? We need one more cut. How does Soulfire Grandmaster work again? Uh, you pay four mana, and the next time you cast an instant or sorcery, it goes back to your hand instead of in the graveyard. So with all of these, it's very good. It's also, I mean, if you get eight mana, you can play infinite cryptic commands. That does seem good. Yeah, it's just a 2-2 two -two with lifelink, so. You think Fetters is the next weakest card? Interesting. It just deals with everything. I don't know how much I like Geist. I don't either, actually. It just feels like really weirdly placed in this deck. All right, we're going to bring in Fledstrand, Colonnade, Ancient Tomb. Probably not Steam Vents, because we have no reason to play that. And we'll just do a little splitsy. Get this out of here for now. Mm, yeah, that seems fine. 7-7. Seven, seven. So 9-9. Nine, nine. So 9-9. Nine, nine. All right, we're going to save this as our primary deck. And let's... Open a new copy of this deck. Call it Primary Deck 2. And let's see what the white version looks like with just white cards. Just because I'm curious. Uh, Angel comes in. Fiend Hunter, Flicker Wisp, Hispery, Silver Blade. No timely reinforcements. That's just silly. Selfless Spirit, Mother of Runes. Wall of Omens. Eh, not as good. Not nearly as good. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Oh, uh, I think Gideon's actually good. Gideon's a win condition and it deals with, like, obnoxious creatures. I don't know how to do the troll emoticon. What's the troll emoticon? Learn how to internet, Spencer. Come on, buddy. Get it together. I think he's thinking of the Kappa. Hmm. Ah, oh, the old... I don't know how you feel about this hand. It's a little slow. But it's also good. Keep it. Alright. Are we playing against islands? Good. We have time to they, can't kill, they, they can't kill us quickly. We can dirtle. Uh oh. Oh. Alright, that's fine. I mean, it's not, but it happens. Maybe we can draw a remand. That'd be great. That's like the best counter spell ever. Good call. Nailed it. Good looking out. Okay, okay, okay. Any advice on making a website? I know you have one. I was curious. Um, I have no advice on it. I have gleaned nothing meaningful from making my website.
A little change my little color. No one knows what you're saying right now. Yeah, but I do. Okay. You do. Well, That's all that matters. Is that all that matters? We're getting out dirtled. Not, not yet we're not. We dirtle in the late game. I dirtle late. Man, Basalt Monolith would be great here because we can play it, then they'll go to one, and then we can untap and have keep our up. Do I care about that? No. I don't. Just a divination. Just a divination. Better. I'm tempted to banishing like this. That might actually be pretty good. It's kind of obnoxious. It's from the it's to the tune of Californication. Just a divination. It's from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You know those guys? The Red Hot Chili Flakes. Wow, this guy's just going to put three cards on the bottom. Cryptic Command. Wow, that's the best hit you could have ever gotten off of a, an Augur of Bolas. <sighs> no one ever gets that lucky. Yeah, I'm just going to get an island here. This is nice because we can, uh... They're not going to have Cryptic Command mana up. They missed a land drop? And they Muldriftered? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. We're going to do it. Put it in your hand. Oh boy, it went back to their hand. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Did you see it happen? I seen it. Did you look at it? Oh, Badlands. Interesting. They don't have Cryptic Command Man up still. That's pretty good. That's also pretty good. I could just face fetters that now. They also didn't replay their their thing. What do we do here? Do we face fetters this thing? It feels like face fetters is good here because in the future they can counter our Mystic Confluence, our face fetters, or our Ugin. Yeah. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. This is why face fetters is so strong. It just shuts down everything. It shut down all the things. Oh, I see. They electrolyzed their own Glenelendra. Yep. Can you say hi to my dad and tell him something nice? Illusions donated to Robert. Robert's dad. How how you doing? Good talking to you, buddy. I didn't I didn't really know what to say, but you're probably an awesome dad because Robert's a cool dude. They electrolyze their own. Oh, this is tempting. Oh, this is real tempting, actually. One, two, three, four, five. Is that not five? Which one is not? The one on top? All right. It's really hard to tell. I'm going to play this Bane Slayer Angel. Wow, now we get a we got a counter spell. We stole a negate. All treachery or negate. So now they have Cryptic Command and like... Oh, now they finally hit their Cryptic Command mana. Well, I wish you luck. Uh-oh. They're going to do a thing. Phyrexian Metamorph. 
That's pretty reasonable. I can't counter that, you know. As it turns out. Boy, oh boy. We can bounce it, though. Oh, that's pretty good. Do we think they have a counter spell that is not Cryptic Command in hand? I feel like they had optimal time to use one if they didn't have Cryptic Command. This is real tempting. They did pay two life for Metamorph. That is interesting. I want to talk with this Bane Slayer. Just to get our Bane Slayers off the board if that's what they want to do. Seem good. I think we just do it, right? Do we just YOLO it? No, we can pass. Because we want to wait until we have um, Clone Aranja, like, next turn, where we can also use the negate on her. Seems better, right? My concern is if they're able to, like, kill it and then keep up Cryptic Command, then we just don't get a shot to do it. You know what I mean? It feels like they really have a disallow. I don't disagree with you. All right. Yeah, we'll keep up Mr. Confluence. Yeah, that's true. We got Confluence in hand, so if they do try to do that, we can just counter. Oh, that's what it is? Dang. I want something to counter this and just draw some cards. Yeah, let's do that. You don't need more cards. Um, uh, one... Two, three, four, five. We're at 26. We can just take two in case we draw something cool. Cast. Draw two. Do we care? Actually, maybe we just want to let them, let them have this. You can have this. I don't care. I'll counter something more relevant. We probably could have landed Eugene there. And they discarded a looter. They discarded a mountain and a looter? That's pretty good. So they basically didn't net any cards there. That's good stuff. <laughs> good times. Oh, a dark dweller. Sorry. Right. Now 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 it's perfect. This is just all we've ever wanted. Um draw, draw. I always I always draw too many. That's good, right? Choose you. One, two. Boop. Boop. Three, four, five. Treasure Cruise seems good. Don't care about that. Pondero. Pondero. This could be a good got him. A good got him meme deck yeah all right so you eugene just gets to gets to wreck him why don't they attack there that was an easy attack i think and they were just like no nah, i'm good i was like okay they've had a lot of turns of attack and they have it for some reason i guess they don't want to kill our uh our glenland archmage Ponderosa is just basically a sizzler, right? I don't know what that is. All right, well. That answer is that. Ain't no party like a Eugene party because a Eugene party don't stop. 
I'm just gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna get all the dudes off your board. Get him. Get him! I don't know why they banned Ponder. They're still preordained. Well, they didn't. They preordained is also banned. That's why they banned Ponder, because they're both banned. Do, 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 do. What? Really? Uh. <laughs> okay, deal. Don't think you fell that one through. Did huh? they forget about that? I don't know what to make of that. They just attack with. Just draw some cards. Really? I really just attack and start killing them. Actually, they're going to draw cards next turn. We can get a cryptic command. Um, we can get rid of. We don't. What, what? What do we have to get back? We can get back. We have Snapcaster, right? So we can get rid of all of these. Pay one, two, th three, four. That's what we were hoping for. All right, seems good. And I'll just pass here. Pretty sure we're going to counter this Ancestral, right? No, they still have Cryptic Command, don't they? Yeah. God, they have two cards. I guess they're going to draw anyway, so... Doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, Cryptic Command and four cards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Play something for six so we can cryptic command it. Draw seven cards, put up to seven permanent cards from your hand onto the battlefield. That's pretty good. This is interesting. All right, so no zealous conscripts. This is where that cryptic commander Ugin. All right, we'll see if we can have a war here. God, they always have it. Wow. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have enough mana to replay this turn either, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, that'll do. It's gonna do. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This guy. All right, that's gone. Yes, yes, I will. Oh, it's a little late in the game for it, but you never know. You d that's true. You never know. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Would be like Blue Sun Zenith or something. Let's say Rakdos has return us. That would be hilarious. That would be great. This old Mister Green Jeans here, because he's got like a green tint to him. Mm -hmm. Green jeans, kind of teal. Yeah, he's got a he's a teal boy, like your dad. Yeah, my dad was a teal boy. The tealest of boys. Oh, good times, good times. Great. Now they're gonna rack us, return us for everything. They're not gonna do anything. They're literally just gonna pass the turn. All right. Seems good. I'm going to attack you. Uh, this is not only vintage cards, it's just the, the vintage cube expresses cards, the, the how far back the cards go. Cards that are legal in vintage. So they, they pretty much know that we have this, so it doesn't really make sense to... We probably should have attacked with Colonnade here. Under the sea.
I mean, I'm not going to run out Ugin when you have four cards and you don't play anything on your turn. That's just not happening. <laughs> Keep drawing two. Mana Tithe as well? Here's a Mana Tithe. Now we can double got him. I'm going to got him all. Boros Charm? Alright, now you got your White Source. I mean, we've got a lot of creatures here. That's fine. Wow. Brimaz for a Chandra. That seems good for us. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they have nothing. Also, we can probably Ugin and like they don't have an they're not gonna have enough to manatee and force spike around it, so we're gonna do that. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, or nothing happens, I guess. Scuba dee doo doo boo doo 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 boo doo 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 scuba dee doo. Under the sea. Were you the singer in System of a Down? I was, actually. It's a little known secret. I don't like to tell people about it, but... Boy, this... this All the Sphinx cards, uh, both on play, in play, and on in our hand, um, are pretty bad right now because of the number of cards in our library. Do we even draw here? I don't think we need to. Do you have another Counterspell in our deck? We have Snapcaster, actually. I want to draw one until the Snapcaster here, and then we'll be done. What up, Smoking Dope 420? <laughs> Good times. I will get... Whoa! Oh! 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 Dang it. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ready? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so hyped right now. Nice. I didn't hear it. Wait, did they pay? Did they pay it? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? That's weird. But I still have this. I don't understand. Magic is so hard. They're still dead on board. But why don't you manatize it? Because it's already resolving. Oh. Sure. Whatever. That's stupid. <laughs> like, whatever, man. That's dumb. I am not a fan of that. I guess we should have paid attention to how much they were floating. Or we could have just, or we could just not care because we won the game. Do but in the future. Do 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 do. How about now? Did you guys hear it that time? Maybe. I don't know. Have I seen the new Core 2019 record? Yes, yes, I certainly have. Um. Still nothing. That's weird. Did, maybe it's because we didn't get him. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can go advanced audio properties. It's weird. It's monitoring out, but all right, whatever. I'm not going to deal with it. Oh, well, we didn't get him. The core set's called literally Core Set 2019. Um, what do you think about that new Nikki Bolas? I think it, I think it looks sweet actually. Yeah, we're just gonna submit like this. I hate it that they had. Okay, so I, I was gonna say I hate it that they got to see the mana leak too, the mana tithe too because we had to discard it. But we would have actually mana tithed it as well. So I think we keep this hand. They went to six. Seems good. God, it's so funny. I was like, I called the Rakdos's return. They had the Rakdos's return, and then they I didn't even see red, one red floating. I literally looked like they tapped out. 
So they might have done that like the last minute. We do not have time walk. Toots. Um, white source. That's like a white source because it can draw us into a white source. Nope. What? You nope. Just, say nope. It can't. Nope. Well, it's going to, right? Where's your mana floating this time, buddy? Got him. Oh, dang. We can get him again, too. We'll remand and then we'll get it. Best card, in my opinion, from the new set? I have no idea. That's a good question, but I don't know. Got him incoming. Problem is now they're going to play a land and then play Glenn on the Dark Mage. They're not going to have a land. Dang it. Sure. That's an interesting choice. This is stupid. Just run it out there? I don't know. I'll just run this guy out there. That's what I mean. Wow, really? That's fascinating. So if we draw a white source here, it's actually going to be pretty sweet. So we can just play Elspeth and get in under a Glenelanger Archmage. I don't know why. They're... Cool. Of course. <laughs> Fantastic. Classic. I actually don't know why they didn't run out Glenelanger Archmage there. I guess Soulfire Grandmaster is too scary as a 2 2 for. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. White, white. <laughs> Two lands. White, blue. Something. Something white and then something else. I dislike you. Sure, it resolves. You gotta counter this, right? There you go. No? You literally have to counter this. I don't know why you're not gonna counter this. Weird. Why would you use a card in your hand instead of actually just... That's very strange. This is all very strange to me. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Just consider mana leak can counter anything, not just non-creature spells. Oh my god, Glenelanger's on deck. Supreme Verdict will be so gas here. They have one card. You just go Baneslayer Angel and then they just don't have a way to deal with that. Yeah. Especially because they just Phyrexian Metamorph their Glenelanger Archmage. Man, if only they had a mana leak, huh? <laughs> If only they had a mana leak to deal with that Bane Slayer Angel. The stipulation is win without cards in our hand. F oh. Come on. I think we're dead. They tapped out, actually, so probably not. Hmm. 
Do we play a land this turn? No. We can go bounce, bounce, draw. Play a land. I don't think we have a way to deal with this, unfortunately. Yeah. I want to just go to the next... Actually, oh god, if we hit a land here, we could actually attack it, which would be fantastic. <sighs> we missed four land drops, which is pretty unreasonable. We can play Elspeth, make a dude. Then they just go exile Elspeth, I guess. But then they lose their Karn. Sure. I guess they don't, because then... Well, they do if they exile, I guess. Well, it's going to be real hard to resolve a face fetters when they had double glow and Archmage on board. Wow. Aggressive. Guess they have their own Ugin. Good to know. That is good to know. A lot of valuable information here. That's why we're not hearing things. Demand the hype. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Are regular sounds working? Okay, regular sounds are working. Sure. Could have my basalt monolith. But you can never have my freedom. Ooh, going both of the face, huh? Okay. Land. That is a land. I'm pretty sure we're still dead, but we're going to fight like we're not. Cryptic Command. That was one card of Dugan, right? You know that? Oh, we do know he's one card. That's true. They're just going to attack us and then shoot our face, so I think we're dead. Well, they don't have the mana to do. Yes, they do. All right. I actually thought they had eight mana. Exactly, so... I wonder if we just play like History of Benali and Geist of St. Traft and get a little more aggressive. They don't have a ton of creatures to take with Treachery. True. Treasure Cruise is kind of slow. I think we just bring in the more aggressive cards. Can take this member out for like selfless spirit. We could go mono white. I don't think we want this salt model here. Maybe Silver Blade Paladin? I mean, it's pretty aggro. Alright, let's do it like that. We can take some of the uh, the spells out for, for more creatures. I'm going to keep this because any land is real good here. We've got two expensive cards here. And actually, this hand's probably Mulligan Old. This is, these three are uncastable. Yeah. But these are very good if we hit lands. True. Or a land, anyway. This is much worse. This is worse. Yeah, this is a lot worse. 
Board into a bunch of aggressive white cards. Draw a bunch of five, six, seven, and eight drops. Bad times. Mm -hmm. Are you having a good time? Are you entertained? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? No, I'm pretty entertained. Okay. I think well. we might keep this, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to. Yep, you're never getting cast, ever. We could draw a Soulfire Grandmaster into History of Benalia slash Silverblade Paladin slash Geist of St. Draft slash Island. Maybe. I don't know. This hand is pretty rough. Fine is, I think fine is a bit of an overstatement. Alright, that's a dude. That is a dude. Do -do 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 -do. do they have too many counter spell? I don't know. They have mana leak, so. Let's see it. Show me mana leak salad. Never don't have it. Wow. Sure. Uh Dak Faden. No Dak Faden. Mull Drifter. That's always intriguing to me. Welp. We're having a good run, ladies and gentlemen. If we can draw blue, blue, I'll be completely fine with it. That's Every fine. Game. Got him. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we're losing this game. I think our deck is actually better, but I think we're uh, not drawing very well. Oh, we're taking two? Maybe? Yep. Sure. Interesting that you played your land untapped before you pondered. I have to assume you have cryptic command. Looter Ilkor. Sure. Oh, we're getting there. Mana Leak. I have all my counter spells, don't you know? <laughs> Remand is a little better. I guess. Who even knows, man? Who even knows? My dad. My, yeah, I knew your dad was going to know. I knew it, man. Yeah, we can still win. We're not out of the woods yet. We're they're not out of the we're not out of the we're woods. We're not dead. We're not dead yet is what I'm saying. Um, can't cast this guy or this guy. That's sad. We could cast a Silver Blade Paladin under Mana Leak. That doesn't seem exciting at all. I both have four cards. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe as a miscalculation, we can pay. That'd be sick. You doing okay? Yeah. You just blowing? Yeah, I had a little hair on my face. That's called your beard, man. No, no, no. It was from the top end. <laughs> it's from the top end. 
This hair is from the top end, boy. What kind of top end do you like on your pizza? Ha 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 Shut up. And if you're gonna counter, just do it already. What's the problem? Yeah, this guy's... There you go, you figured it out. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Oh, I didn't know if we were casting my cryptid to buy the draw card. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Mike's right. He didn't know if he wanted to cast his cryptic command to dibbly dibbly the card. He's got to run a counter pills eventually, right? Got to run a counter pills eventually? Mm hmm. I don't know what that means, but sure. If Mike was secretly Bill Cosby, I'd be pretty afraid right now. I would not be drinking any of Would you of these like beverages. a drink? No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> I'm afraid of their Frexy Metamorph on this guy. It's pretty good. <laughs> Just tap out. Interesting. That's really interesting. That's terrible. Okay, well, I was hoping for a uh, blue land so we could play our cards, but, you know, magic's hard. We're looking pretty dead. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. Like, it, we've had so many windows to actually get rid of these things, but they have one blue mana up. Why do they leave one blue up instead of, like, you have double Glenelanger and you leave one blue up. I don't understand. Do they spend all four islands on Glenelanger Archmage? Mm-hmm. I mean, if we side in Wrath, they just counter it. Like, Wrath is not very a good answer to Glenelanger Archmage. And that's the wrong one to sack, too. You sack this one. So that if you sack this one and end up playing a better creature, you can copy that. Sure. That's, why would you keep double red up? I don't understand. You could have looked at one, two, three, four, and had three blue up. That's three counter spells. I don't understand. I'm very confused. Sure. Reverberate. Yeah. Nailed it. It's even worse because it's taking six minutes longer than us, so. It's just like this is just match full of rubbins right now, unfortunately. Yep. Take four. If only you didn't have two onboard counter spells. We could Ugin and wipe the whole thing, but... Maybe he'll forget. Maybe. Go to other planes. I like it. <laughs> it's literally our only option, right? Like, we just hope they forget. There you go. Nailed it. Yeah, of course. Okay. You figured it out. We're done. Okay. Good game, Fritz boy. Good game. <laughs> oh. Sad days. What's that? You need a second island for some of your spells? Okay. Six drop, six drop, eight drop, and a remand. Always a pleasure, Magic Online. Are we playing Yu-Gi-Oh? I don't think so. I 
That's a good card. If only I had cards that interacted with that card. Batter Skull! Alright, well that's a good one. Uh, we are blue-white good stuff, not black-white good stuff. I'm going to put Bubble Snake bu bu Sword into the battlefield. Oh, that's a good dude. You okay? Is that funny? Yeah. Did you like that, Michael? This is where they go four spike and still get to play uh, Sword. Oh, all right. Cool. Brimaz, big Brims. Stickums McBrims. That's what I always say. Sword supply shares. Kill your guy. Quit my sword. Attack you. Draw a card. Okay, that's fine. I accept. Why did you do this during my turn? I guess because you have to discard. Did you play a land? He did. Yeah, okay. Alright. That's still weird. Like, did I just remand that? No, that seems dumb. <laughs> that seems pretty cool. <laughs> I kind of just want to swords this guy. Why? Because we get we get a good number. Of, like, we get to, we have to keep at least two guys now. We get a Brimaz and a token to keep. Uh, now they have to play a guy, then they have to equip that guy, and we have a lot of time to remand it, whereas instead they could just, if they find any answer for Brimaz, they can just equip, attack, and then... It's correct to do it on your upkeep. He wants to discard and make you counter on your own turn. Yes, we were tapped out, so we, he, we wouldn't have countered at all. So if they Ancestral Recall on their own turn, they avoid us countering it at all, and they get to draw three cards. Ancestral Recall is not a card you want to get countered, so giving us the op option to counter it is pretty bad, especially if we had a card like Force Spike or Mana Tithe. I think the incentive of drawing one extra card, like not having to discard one single card, uh, is outweighed by the fact that we could literally just Force Spike it or Mana Tithe it in this format. That's my thought. Oh, that's going to be a good one eventually. Everx616, recently found your content on YouTube and love it all. Thanks so much. I don't know if you're doing stipulation today, but I would like to ask for mono. Uh, I do do stipulations, but they, they are commissions um, usually. And there you can find information on that in the in my Twitch profile. Uh, the reason being is that I, I, if, if I just did like every stipulation that was suggested, I would probably never be able to just draft a normal deck. And I would also probably go broke because uh, I, I, I probably would. You don't win very mat very many matches a lot of times when you do stipulations. Um, okay, you can have it now. I'll vote for Burmaz. If they play any creature, we just steal it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, right, so I'm not always right. I'm not always right. I just, <laughs> I just don't like, I mean, like, it's just funny when people like, okay, that's fine. Like, you have to, let us both draw. Yay. Oh. Oh, all right. Now we're talking. I think we play this and keep Force Spike up. Seems okay. It seems okay. Um, we're just going to attack your face. Okay. Let's... Like, look at this. How do you even... Like, oh, i got to, like, just look the edge of it. Ooh, it's right here. I get to click on this tiny little, little edge. That's pretty bad. You love clicking on the tiny little edge, don't you? What does that even mean? Or do we actually? I forgot we had consecrated Sphinx in hand. Could just slam that bad boy. We could slam that bad boy. Do we hope we just assume they don't have Force Spike of their own? Let's play around it. Play Blade and Angel. It seems good. I like it. I like it. Is it hard to me? Dang. They never target us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I hope they play Karn right now. Oh. It's never going to happen. Let's steal that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, they're going to equip it, though. That's so sad. We should have force spiked it. 
Oh, that's great. We get the value of the force spike and they didn't equip so we can treachery it. Wow. Seems good. Well, that couldn't have gone any better. That was like the best thing ever. Why can't I tell you a story? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What are you saying Cause, right now? Because the history of Manalia. Oh! Story. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Don't do a punt when it's the opponent, man. Then I get the punts. Um, I don't think we care about keeping anything tapped down specifically. I am going to kill this Jace. Right? Oh, you're playing that? What? Oh, that really plays into Wrath if they have one. They don't have no Wrath. God, they have a Wrath, I bet. But we draw two cards. So, it is what it is, right? We don't have... Oh, we could have drawn Mana Tide. Yeah, that's a good point. It's going to be Mana Tide. You ready? Mm, I can't. It's going to be relevant this turn. I just can't, dude. I mean, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. They have 8 mana. Unless they, unless they cast like Ugin, we're probably fine. In before Ugin. Totes Ugin. It's always Ugin. Look at these angels, man. I got to steal both of... I got to destroy both of your, your Dominary Mythics in one turn. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, oh, he's like, this is going to stink because we're draw. Oh, oh, yes, that's pretty good. I will uh, begin the sideboarding process. I wish we had artifacts removal, but I guess we have uh, Faithful Suiting and Banishing Light. Just submit. I don't even think we need anything, really. We could tell them a story. No. Why can't I? You don't want to tell them a story? No. What about Geist of Saint Draft? You could be a little more aggressive here. If we're going to be more aggressive, you don't want to tell them a story? No. This is one of the best okay, aggressive okay, cards? Okay, I kind of want to tell them a story. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's get more aggressive. I'll just bring in History and Geist. Did I say Faithless Looting? I meant uh, Faith's Fetters. <laughs> that's, that's not the same at all. Me cup is empty. Oh, me cup is empty. Oh, me cup is empty. Wow. That's that's how you sound. That is how I sound. I know. I told you. Oh, me cup. Me little cup is empty. Please, sir, can I have some more? We want to see background draft a deck. What does that mean? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. What are you saying? I'll be right back. Where are you going? Laundry. You're going to laundry? Yeah. What does that mean? I want to turn on the laundry. You're going to turn on the, the, the dryer right now while we're streaming. I can close the door. The dryer was already on for most of it. Dear God, why does he, how does he exist? I'll keep this hand. Colonnade. Celestial Colonnade. Why do they keep doing this? History of Benalia. Uh, yes, Mike has... Mike, Mike and I are roommates. That is correct. It's like it never happened. It's like a song that never... Can I come in your house? I mean... He does exist despite me. You are 100% right. My god, Everix. 
That is the most correct thing ever. Uh oh. Nothing. White mana. We did it. God, we're so good at this game. Where my white mana at? Where is my white mana at? I wish this was a human knight, but instead it's a monk. Hey man, Thanos been shopping at Gucci? Yeah, that's his that's his shopping bag. A shopping bag, a shopping bag. I'm just gonna play you. Risky. Why is that risky? We got a remand in hand. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh my god, you're such an amateur. Boop. Oof. It's, a, it's got a lifelink. That's a big boy. Oh, Shandy? A little pecan Shandy? Let me land so I can play this moles. Oh, that guy's pretty good, actually. What do you got, Resto? Resto McBesto? We got this member. I guess we can actually just keep up. Yeah, we do actually. Play this dude. Pshow! Pating! Pdow! I forgot the dismember. I can hear the dry. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, we don't have time walk, unfortunately. That'd be sick, though. Six mana take infinite turns. Uh oh, they're adding mana. Thank you. Ewok, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the internet. I'm your host, Snapcaster Mage. What does that even mean? I like Mike's Christmas pants in June. <laughs> you got that plaid on. Plaid on? Yeah, plaid on. What we discard? Palax Wave and Is It Charm? Is it Signet? Is that right? Wait. Yeah, okay. Okay. This is fine. This is just fine. Do we dismember now and risk the... Nah, why Why risk it? Well, because if we draw land, we can play Moldrifter. Like, and that's a pretty big game. I'm going to risk it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Because we also have Snapcaster to get it back, so... I don't think they have Force Spike. They have Force Spike? They have Spell Pierce. Okay, that's even... That's fine. Alright, everything everything comes up Millhouse here. Because then we can also keep Mana Tithe up. God, I hate mana for a dismember. Uh, attack Shandi. I did it right. Hit okay. There you go. Geist. Go at your face. That seems good. I am a fan. This guy's got this guy's got hex proof. Mm -hmm. Woo! That's some good. That's some good. Good good. That's the good good. Who thought Frexy Man was a good idea? That's the question, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. They're gonna go land Shigoldred. You ready? <laughs> what kind of land are they gonna play? It's gonna be a Fetid Heath. Or a Graven Cairns. Or a Sunken Hollow. Fuck, man, I don't know. He did none of that. Land. Give me a stupid land. Thank you. Do we double boop? Just give them the, the two boops? I think so. Going to serve modern anytime soon? Um, not unless someone actually commissions a deck. Uh, it's I have a hard time streaming modern when the vintage... I have a hard time streaming anything else when the vintage key was up. Just because these games are so good. You get to do whatever you want. Whenever you want. I'm going to play this. Does that sound okay? Yeah. I just want to hit land drops and... We didn't hit a land drop, but we did get a force spike, which is pretty cool. Do I play standard? I play standard when it's fun and exciting. And when the vintage cube is not around. It all comes down to the vintage cube. We call that a bloopy in the industry. It's an industry term. Oh, what are you going to name? Dang, that's rude. It is kind of rude. That was the rudest thing you could do. Land... That's a good one. One, two, three, Let's four. jump that fish. That's what I was thinking. Oh, we got Mana Tide and Force Spike in hand? Guess! I hope they try to Cryptic Command here. Oh, they're just going to search. That's okay. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Actually, maybe we just make a 1-1, because they're going to steal this, so I'd rather have a guy on the board for next turn. Sure. Oh, that's scary. We can also put them to 3, though. That's really nothing. We'll make a guy. Because next turn, that guy can jump. Oh, treachery is so good. Oh my god, I'm so... I'm so disheartened by this treachery. We've missed two land drops. If we traded like two of these cards in for lands, we'd have like a history banalia. That's a cool card. Thinking while drinking hard. You go on and do a little think. You have a good time. Knock yourself out. My Amazon package is one stop away. It's real exciting. What is it? It's literally just cables. Oh, that's not very impressive. So I've been doing a lot of cable management for my desk and my computer. And when you do a lot of cable management, the one thing people don't tell you is that you actually need longer cables. I always made it a point to get the shortest cables I could possibly get. So that I didn't have a lot of slack, or I didn't have a lot of overhang, rather. And um, now that I'm managing the cables better, it's uh, it's occurred to me that you want longer cables, so that you do have the room to uh, to put things where you want. So I had to get new uh, DisplayPort cables for my monitors and a new power cable that is longer. So that's my story. Oh, I see. Interesting. Well, that is a thing that gets rid of a treachery at some point. Do we just jump this guy? They have to block here. We could also jump the soldier because it's a 4-4. Four, four. Well, right, but this is a 5-5. Five, five. And, like, they, they can go to 1. Is that better? We could also just chump block so that we don't take the damage next turn. I don't want to play Consecrated Sphinx for obvious reasons. As a Marvel fan, have you watched the new Cloak and Dagger show? I've liked the character a long time. I have not watched it, actually. I've actually stayed away from the, uh, the network shows. I've watched Flash and Arrow, and I thought those were good. But then they kind of went downhill, too. God, I don't know what to jump. I think we just jump this, because then they take 5, but... Uh, we don't get more damage through if we pump the 1-1, one, one because it, then we only attack with the 1-1 one, one for 3, and they block this guy if we attack. Right? So, like, if we jump this guy and attack, they either trade, or they take 5 and go to 1. And I'm fine with that. Uh, it depends if you if you... If you Demonic Tutor for a Planes or a Mox Pearl, it depends on if you have a land to play for that turn. If you have a land, then you can play the land and the Mox Pearl. If, the, if your land for the turn would be the Planes, then you probably play the Planes. See, now they're at one. So they can't crack fetches. I'm just going to history of Benalia here. I guess we're good here. I can't really banishing light anything. Not going to play any of these. Yeah, all right. That's the end.
This is the best night token as well, just to be clear. Yeah, they look pretty sweet. Yeah, they look like I like these stained glass knights. Now this is a story all about how my knights got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute just sit right there, tell you how I became a prince of a town called Benalia. Well, that doesn't. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. I'm 76 years old. Mike is 42. Yep. If you give the one on token flying and plus three plus three and attack with both, if they choose to block the soldier, they die. Uh, yeah, but if they're not going to choose the block, they're going to choose to block this guy, and then they're just going to eat this guy for free uh, and take four and go to two. So um, they would have taken less damage. There, there's no way they're, the Muldruff is getting for free. They're not going to trade here. We're playing. We're playing blue white, so they're not going to. There's no way they're not going to just go to one or two. Because we have no way to deal one or two points, so there's no risk to going to one or two here. Plus, Dragon Lord Ojita has a card that can really get you back in the game. But all of our threats are lethal now, thanks to uh, them being at one, which is pretty sweet. That sounds right. <laughs> oh, you look older. Wow. <laughs> Gas. Oh, jeez. So the play this game is the highest competition level. You have to spend hundreds of dollars on building a deck. Um, I mean. For the most part, yeah. I mean, but it's it's basically like that. It's very similar with, with lots of things, you know? Oh, wow. What? How did they... Hmm? Well, there's your stuff. How did they... I didn't even see them get here. Oh, wow. Like ninjas. Apparently, I'm like literally looking out the window right now, and apparently the Amazon guy got here and delivered the packages and I didn't even hear him or notice. That's amazing to me. <clears throat> well, I can't block, so I'll just take five and go to go to seven Z's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have eight mana, so if they go treachery, untap Ugin, I think we're awesome because then we can we can counter it. It's because the dryer is too loud. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's actually probably right. That seems correct. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to do anything with that. Wait, what? Is this cryptic command territory? One, two, three, four. <gasps> oh, that's great if it's cryptic command because we have the two. We got the two dudes. The two deuces. Don't call them deuces. That doesn't make any sense. Why not? All right, they're going to cryptic command. They're not going to cryptic command. They're going to settle the wreckage. And then we're going to go no. And then they're going to go pay one. And then we're going to go no. And then they're going to play this. And they're going to go to four. And we're going to wish we jumped a dude because... Because now it's bad. I guess that's fine. We still get to get rid of Ojitai, so... Yeah, that's fine. I didn't put them on having that. It's my own fault. One, two, three... Banish this dragon boy! The Amazon guy not brought neither weed nor weed paraphernalia. <laughs> God. Maybe he did. You haven't opened the packages yet. They would have he looks to jump target, correct. However, I would have still I would have jumped the soldier, so we would have still had a two two and a two two in Mole Drifter and Knight, and they would have went to four and then died. So even if they if they if we that would have forced them to lightning helix the one one rather than a two two. Uh which makes a difference. My name is Jeff. Powerful magic. <laughs> oh, 
good times, good times. Powerful wizard. Oh, dang. Aggressive. Big Tretch. Um, yeah, it's not going to do it, I guess. Delivered. Back there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't do that. Yep, you got it. Untap all your little manas. We can finally get rid of this treachery. Oop. Oops, I owe mean Bitcoin. Yeah, that's good. You did, you're doing good. Like Buttcoin. First Buttcoin, <laughs> then Bitcoin. <laughs> wow. Oh, good job. Good job. We're doing good. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Gotta make an angel bird, baby boy. You heard me. Boom, 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 boom. That would have been great if they equipped the sword and the treachery went away. <laughs> oh, that's gas. <laughs> well, we can't take the angel. We can just take one of their blockers. We got three guys. They got two blocks. Oh, true. Okay. It's treachery, the treachery target. Seems appropriate. It just seems fitting. Oh, come on. Treacherous. That's what I said. That's what I said. Attack with all three of these gentlemen. I will assume that you don't have the one spell that's going to kill these guys that we can. The one mana spell. Oh, they're just going to be dead. I was supposed to be the last one. Highlander. Oh, good times. Good games. Was that was that was that a triple cross, you think? Hmm. Huh? What's a triple cross? Explain it to me. It's where you cross and then you cross again and then there's two crosses and a cross. It still doesn't make sense. You get it. I don't. I want you to understand. No. I want to know. What do you think about MTGA? Not much. I do not give it any thought on in any... Uh, uh. Mully bully. We got this and this though. Yeah, so what? So I'll keep this hand. This hand is great. No, it's really not. Wait, you just wait till we wait till wait till you see what we draw. You ready? Okay. Just wait. It's your boy Tom. What's going on, buddy? It has been a minute. I stream every day though, so I don't know where you've been. You don't stream every day. I stream like five, at least five days a week. That's not every day. Frank streams every day. That's from the Snoop Dogg song. The Snoop Dogg song. Frank streams every day. Yeah, it's from the from Snoop. Oh, look, we did it, boys. We did it. So if we get to crack this and Manatai, this costs five, and we can actually play it next turn off of Ancient Tomb. That seems good, right? Yeah, when Snoop goes, smoke weed every day. You know, Snoop Dogg. Come on, everybody knows that, man. Lil Bow Wow, you get it. Lil Bow Wow. <laughs> what happened to that guy, man? I think he died. You think Lil Bow Wow? <laughs> <laughs> I think he died. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, Night of the White Orchid. 
the irony is they have a land in hand. They just wanted to get an extra land. So your greed is actually what caused this. And then they'll be like, play by land. There it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, good grimy gophers. Oh, that's next turn. Or one shy. I made I made this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang it. Oh, actually, we got Snapcaster Manatide, though. Oh, that might be better. And next turn we can just play Consecrated Sphinx. So, we all good. Well, Bow Wow's not dead, but he goes by Bow Wow now. He was on CSI Cyber for a few years. What about what's what was what was your what was your cousin's name that was in jail? Lil Boofy? Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh yeah, Lil Boofy. Everybody knows Lil Boof. He goes by Lil Boo in prison. Oh, one more time. One more mana. Really? You're not gonna do the one man mana? One more mana one more mana shuffle? I was really hoping for it. I had my fingers crossed. I had all of my fingeals crossed. Or risky. Taking two again? Man, we're almost dead. We're basically almost dead. That was the first time we've taken two from this. We took two, two, and one from this. And then we took two from this. Let me get to that upkeep step. Don't you path this guy. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, this is this is helpful. This is helpful in this matchup. Mm -hmm. And it cancels this out, which is great. Oh, there's no stip right now. That is an old stip, Hossmania. We're just draft we just we just did a regular draft, buddy. Just take it easy. One more time. Say not me. One more time. Say not me. Come on, let's go. Free little Boofy. What did you say little Boofy did to get in jail? He did a lot, man. I can't remember which one they charged him for. <laughs> Didn't they just throw the book at him? Oh, God. I want to block here because it forces you to have a four mana removal spell. Four damage removal spell and... Uh, if we block here, any three damage removal cell with the first strike is pretty pretty bad. So I'll actually take the hit if you uh if you have deals four, I'll just take they'll just two for one, get rid of consecrated sphinx. Can we get a link to Lil Boofy's sound? <laughs> God, why should you know, I don't even know if he's updated it for a while because of the prison butt. Prison butt. I was I knew you were gonna say that. Oh god, they're gonna blink splicey. Oh dang. I think we're dead. Oh, we're fine. We got Rev in hand, man. We're uh -huh. going to be revving up for days, boy. I mean, it's not. We're not in great shape, let's be honest. Also, Snapcaster blocks things. I don't even care. They're not attacking with Mother of Ruins. They're probably not attacking with Blade Splicer. How much mana do we need? We could also draw like Cryptic Command. Yeah, we're just gonna keep drawing until until we can draw no more. That was a good draw. That is a good one. Oh, Portorino. Can I do a step where you draft all reactive cards, only one true win condition? Wow, that sounds I mean you can do whatever step you want, but Man, you guys are you guys are ruthless with these steps though. One more time, come to celebrate. I'm just going to block this. You're going to give it pro and we're going to kill it, I think. How does that sound? Actually, we can go path, snap, path, which seems pretty good. I'm going to do that. We're going to go block here. Maybe
Maybe we should have done this before blocks, I guess. I don't even know, man. Probably. Look at all these guys. There's a lot of chats going on here. I don't think I don't think I know what's going on. Is it too late to declare more blockers? <laughs> yeah, we're past that point, man. One, two, three, four, six, seven. So we go to two. We kind of have to rev now if we want to, but I don't think we even need to rev. I think we just want to concern ourselves with the swords to plowshares. We'll give it, but also, if they give this guy pro white, then they're not giving this pro white, so. All right, cool. You got it. Oh, this guy. I mean, I have a feeling they're going to try to kill this, right? Do we just actually take four? They have two cards. I think keeping Consecrated Sphinx alive is probably the play. One, two, three, five. Or we can just play Ugin next turn and kill our whole board. Yeah, I'm going to do it on this guy. Because if we play Ugin next turn, um, we're going to get rid of the, the Restoration Angel anyway. Do I EDH? Not really. If they play anything for six, we can still force spike it. That has no target, right? That's just a 2 2. Are they just making our Ugin so much better? Oh man, this is gas. Well, we can't Ugin that guy, but nonetheless, I'm still okay with it. Black Lotus. Okay. You're going to get ported? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. That's fine. So we go block, block. We take three. Block, block. We take three. We go to five. That should be fine. We could also gain one here if we really need to. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, treachery into Ugin next turn? Let's do that. I was like, oh, mom too? Wow, mom too, okay. No, not mom. They have one card in hand. Yeah, I was like, this doesn't seem like a great attack for you. Oh, look at that. That's See, that's pro. You got the pro blue on there. But now we can steal it, <laughs> right? That's pretty good. You got it. I don't like going to three here, though. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're in pretty bad shape if they bolt us, sure. But, like, we don't have that much of an option is the problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could also just treachery banishing light something here. I think that actually 
puts us pretty good. It puts us pretty good, it does. You falling asleep? Mm -hmm. I can't tell, man. You know, you just don't say anything for like 20 minutes. It's very strange. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Have I don't know. I'll have a conversation, man. I'm saying you stuff. Tap your consecrated things. I mean, all so right. Now I understand why you're not saying anything. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I don't know how to talk. It makes a lot of sense now. It's all coming together. See you later, Mom. But, Mom. All right, so now we're just going to pass. We'll keep up. <sighs> yep, I'm going to keep drawing cards. Oh, big moles. Yeah, next turn we should be able to Ugin without uh, fear of death. Yep, don't care about that. Each runner of the command costs extra or less. That's one or more colors. This is a color, right? Yeah, that's great. It show is... So we can just do it for three? Oh, uh, we get rid of Banishing Light. We'll probably do it for two to get rid of these guys. Or we could start lighting, lightning bolting. Yeah, that seems better. Tap down my colonnade. Dang it. We're still shy. Oh, that was great. Okay, that's fantastic. That's all we've ever wanted. One, two, three, four. Face fetters on. I don't think it matters. This guy's fine. We'll go to nine. And now I feel well, significantly safer. Yeah, let's finally start doing the deed here. Uh, if we exile it with Ugin for three, they get the mom back. Uh, we're not going to play Monolith because we just we have no reason to, and we just can keep up for Spike if we don't. Uh, I'd rather not go to seven for mana that we don't really need right now. JMO, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Magic Marker Studios, there is no step right now. We're just drafting. Just do 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 drafting. Do we even draw more cards? <laughs> yes. The answer is always yes, right? Okay, that's a good one. We can we can cast that. So that's pretty okay. Yeah. I will take one. One, two, lightning helix. A braid. Don't care. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, now we can keep Romantic Force Spike up. One, two... Eight. Eugene. Uh, kill this guy. All right. I think we just rest rested control of this game. Get rid of Monolith. I don't care about that now. And Sphinx trigger on the stack. I'll concede. Mr. Benelli seems real good here. 
Monolith, I'm pretty unimpressed with Monolith in all these matches. And Treasure Cruise. I think those cards are pretty bad. Wall seems great. Yeah. Timely Reinforcement seems pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Can you Manitize and Force Biker worse on the draw? Cut one of those. I think that's fine. Burp, burp. Why can't one of those be a planes? Yeah, that's a good question. Your question is valid. Do we keep this hand? I don't think so. <sighs> this seems fine. Oh, yeah, perfect. Just beautiful. Oof. Oh. How nice. Port you later. Or never. Port you never is more like it. They didn't have a... Wait, they discarded that and they don't have another land? Mm-hmm. That's... Greedy. That's fascinating. Do we dismember this? No. It's a 2-1. Doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, but if we take it... If we if it deals this damage twice, then it's the same as dismembering it. Oh, we're dismembering that for yeah. sure. That was an expensive... Oh, that was a good draw. I will definitely play that when you have just Mox Diamond in play. Hey, how lucky. I'm just blocking this. Sure. King of the Cats. They had a braid, but they actually can't cast a braid right now, which is pretty sweet. Just finished my first initiative this time around. I got to turn two channel into cause like for this time on Goblin Guy. Biren, that sounds sick. This is your first vintage cube? My god, man. This format is, is your bread and butter, dude. I am shocked. Shocked, I say. Yeah, these guys are good on, on, on defense. Let's just keep hitting... All right. Fantastic. I was going to say let's keep hitting lands, but they can't actually profitably attack here, so... Bread and butter is my bread and butter. That's good. That's fair. I like bread and butter. Um... I'm going to remand that because we want lands. Nailed it. You did. I feel like it's to just cast that guy for his for his thing. Yeah, we're doing that. Oh boy, that's pretty good. So next time we can play any of these things. Yeah, that's gas. Do they almost feel like power has been a lot more common in this miniature Oh, uh, I haven't. I, not for me. Went through a race with a sweet Grixis Bullets deck inspired by my training. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. That is fantastic. So they can cast two mana spells here. Yeah, that's fine. We just block here. Just trade. Well, it's either that or take six. Well, I think we can take six, steal this guy next turn, and then not care about anything. They don't care about anything. Can I have this 
this dude. And then the, we can pair the the token that a Johnny makes, or the token that Permez makes, with the guy, so it kills Thalia if they block it. You like that, man? How's that sound? Seems okay. Seems fantastic, is what it sounds. Yeah, I'll pair that. That seems like a good pair. Whoop! Double stacky. Do we keep Mystic Confluence up? Yes. The answer is yes. Because they can only cast, like, because of the Thalia and their limited lands, they can only cast, like, one thing a turn. Treachery is five mana, but they have a Thalia, so it's actually six mana, Chief. Come on, Biren, get it together, buddy. Um, yeah, this is why we kept this up. Actually, we can cast and just bounce both of these. Woo! Could do that. Yeah, we're doing that. Turn target creature to his owner's hand. Cast, choose you, you, and you. That's pretty insane. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that'll do it. All right. That was pretty sweet. Despite that round one where we dropped pretty poorly, uh, I think that actually went pretty well. And uh, I think the matches demonstrate that. Thank you guys so much, Watson. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, check me out on Patreon and uh, Twitch. You can find the links below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you next time.